for the Ron Grad here. Figured we might as well use the Grads to go get it. And this is going to be our waypoint we're going to be going. Let's see, we're going to come out the garage here. Loop it right back around this way. There's some difficult stuff here, so you're going to want to use chain tires if you're doing this by yourself. <laughs> we got Mike here joining us on stream. So, uh, you guys should be all be able to hear him. And let's mark this out now for the viewers to see where we got to go. And then actually it's going to go over this way and then up here. And we got to loop around this area and it should be in here somewhere. Might get a little bit tight. All right, we just gotta watch out for the ice when we get over there. So I'll take the lead on this, Mike. All right. Um. Maybe we should pull a grab a, a fuel trailer and then we'll pull that behind us just in case because we're gonna do another couple things while we're over there. Actually, never mind. We're gonna grab that little the little one at the farm. I remember, so we can grab that. Yep. All right, let's get started. Beacons on. Always got to have the beacons on. Here we go. And then uh, in this stream, you'll see how the difference is between chain and uh, mud tires. Mike is running the mud tires on his grad. Let's do some comparisons as well. Mike, you gotta get a stream going so we can do maybe both views. That way viewers want to see it from both ways. Oh, a, little, a little slippery there. Um, I'm not sure how to do that. I'm sure there is a way we do some video editing. How you doing back there? Good? Looks like we got a couple of viewers. How you guys doing? Were you just joining us? We're going to get the uh, last engine for this uh, garage. So we're going to use the garage to do it. Seems like it makes sense. Don't fall over. <laughs> Let's put a little bit of hike here. Okay, we'll take this route. It's a little more fun. Yeah, you're uh, yeah, you're right behind me. You got the mud tires. Are you in low or are you in uh, auto? Yeah, same. We're gonna have to switch to uh, low up here. Let me hit that black ice. I'm just curious to see if you can get up it without me helping you. I'll get up first, and then you try it, and then if you can't do it, I'll winch you up. Oh, you have chains on? I thought you had the mud tires. Oh, yeah. Doing a little comparison here.
Oh, you, you had to use the wrench already? Oh, interesting. I, yeah, I didn't get stuck yet. Yeah, I'm getting a little spinning going on here. Low down the mid-low gear. So yeah, here's this little mountain I was telling you about with the black ice on it. Let's see, I'm going to go up here and watch the ease of the chain tires going up. Let's see if we can get Mike up here. I'll zoom out. Let me, let me get a little better spot to view you at. Alright, go ahead. Oh yeah. Welcome whoever just joined uh, the, the stream here. We're just going to do um, get this last grad engine on the new uh, last update. Yeah, see so you can't even get anywhere, can you? Try to get a little more speed to get up here. What transmission are you using? Oh, you got a winch point over there? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got me? Come, come, yeah. Pull it up. Yeah, definitely, uh... I don't think there's actually a difference between the dually chains and the regular ones. I just like the way the dually ones look. Alright. Now, there was one time I came through here, and it was just a spot you can flip pretty easily. But be careful, when you start going downhill, it slides pretty fast. <laughs> I think there's two of us here if we ever get in trouble. I'm trying to do this one um, without Mike's assistance. Oh shit, that may not be it. There we go, okay. Because that way if uh, anyone's doing single player, it shows how you can do it on your own. Take a little boulder like that messes you up. Oh, see. Nope. Let me take my dip lock off. Oh, I just hit my gas tank. Hope I don't leak in fuel. No, I, I don't know if I'm leaking fuel. I don't think so. Yeah, it was only like three points or something like that. How you doing back there? Good. Yeah, I got the uh, fine-tuned transmission here, so my low high is pretty good. It's like basically first gear for uh, same speed as first gear in the auto. Oh yeah, I'm, what are you at right now? Because I'm at four gallons a minute. Hey, watch this. Uh, Pipe uh, down power line. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm eating way more fuel than you. I'm at 60. Yes, I'm curious with this new engine to see if it uh, if there's any better fuel economy with it. I think it said it was more top of the line modern engine or something like that. So maybe it is. wheel spin here. Let's 
see how far we are. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. Yeah, I got a dip lock on these holes in the ground. Oh! Yeah, I just smashed my, uh, wasn't paying attention. Hold on. Ooh. <laughs> these things do some damage. <laughs> Let's go over this way a little bit. Yeah, the fuel tank's on the left side there. Either that where the damage is actually leaking fuel, maybe. Or it makes it use a little more fuel than usual. But I'm down to 54 right now. That's what it seems like. I think the fine tune might use a little more fuel than the regular transmission as well. Actually, even more in um, auto. Yeah, I'm hitting. I'm just barely touching on the top of four. Like almost barely, not even touching five though gallons a minute. Like four nine, four eight. I saw a couple times. Oh, I'm in the sixes now. Six one. Yeah, we got a small little scout fuel trailer at the farm. We can drag over once we. Alright, so here we get that ice. Hold on. Let me uh, do a little test. Oh, 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 oh. That's breaking. Alright, so when you come this way, you gotta drop around this side here, probably. There we go. Yeah, you should see my marks. The ice was already breaking. No, I did not see that. That would be a good idea, I guess. I saw someone use a, a vehicle before. They just took a vehicle and left it there. In like a cracked area. He's like, yeah, this is our new bridge. <laughs> here. Oh, yep, yeah, it just popped up. You saw that too? Yeah. I figured that what it did, the difference between this one and the other one is the back is wider and the front is narrower. On the other tires, it was a wide front and a narrow back. Look, we got it, yes. There it is. IMZ 817-0T with a Roran Grad. I recover. All right. Top of the line specialized engine. 
while still having fuel economy maximum power. Sounds good to me.